Hi there, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to use the linked offset feature in Inkscape to create text with an offset border around it just like you see here. So let's get started. I'm going to slide over to a new area of the canvas. I'm just going to scroll right past the page there. So first thing we want to do is press T on our keyboard to bring up the text tool and type out some text that we want to offset. And I'm going to use a thicker, chunkier font here like Rockwell Extra Bold. Now I'm just going to use my uh, go back to my select tool with my text selected, uh, maybe I'll make it a little bit larger to start with. Now with the text selected, simply go up to Path menu and then go to Linked Offset. Now it doesn't really look like anything's happened, but you'll see that there's a little triangular node handle. If I click and drag that upwards, you see it enlarges or offsets, uh, outsets the shape. Uh, I'm going to give that a fill of say something like red. And then to create that extra little um, standoff border, I'm going to go to Path menu again and do an linked offset. Again I'll drag that handle up a little bit and I'll give that a fill of black. And now there we have it. Um, pretty similar to what I had in the example at the beginning. I'm going to click on the red offset layer and just make that white so it looks even more similar. And so there we have it. We have our text with an offset border. And the really cool thing about the linked offset is it's, um, I'll say it's dynamic. So uh, the outset or offset paths or shapes that are, are sorry objects that have been created are dependent on the original object that you've offset it from so if i change the spelling on offset to off course you see that uh, the offset is applied to that text. So I'm just going to go back to the original here, use my select tool. So that is really kind of a neat feature. You can uh, manipulate your text, uh, you can add some spaces in between it or, or things like that, and that offset border uh, will reflect those changes. Now one thing you're probably going to want to do is if you're going to want to cut this out later, and you're going to want to have just this black uh, border around it that is sort of attached to the original black text, you're going to want to go and convert these linked offset objects into paths themselves. So right now you can see I've got my text selected. If you look down in the status bar, it is text object. If I click on one of these linked offsets, uh, the white one there, it says it is a linked offset object and it gives me a little bit of information about it. Uh, which means that it's not really a path on its own. It might not be understood um, if you bring it into another program to, to use like a vinyl plotter or something. So what we want to do is we want to convert that. So I'm going to use control shift C to convert that to a path. And you can see here now it says it is a path and I'm going to click on the black one, uh, linked offset, and I'm going to use control shift C again and convert that to a path as well. So if I click on the white one, I'm going to just fill that a different color. So it's a uh, pretty obvious and I'm just going to drag my original text object off of there. And you can see what I have here is I have just these, different path objects uh, and they're just solidly filled. So I'm going to use control Z to undo both of those moves. And what I would do is I would select the black in the background, uh, shift click on uh, whatever this is sort of a plum color and use control minus to difference operation though. So now I'm left with just this black border. Uh, what I can do at this point in time is click on my text. I'll use control shift C to convert that to a, um, a path. When text gets converted to a path, it always starts off as a group of all the individual characters. So I'm just going to control shift G to ungroup that. And I'm going to use control plus to union those all together. Now I hold down shift on the keyboard and click on that offset uh, border. And I will use control plus again. And now I have one path that uh, is comprised of, of the original text and the outside border. So if I change the color on that, you see so if I do that again and I change the color, everything changes all at once. So now you could go in and you could cut this as sort of one layer. I think people refer to it as in their vinyl cutting software. So that's a really cool way to use linked offset. Uh, you can stop watching now if that's all you wanted to achieve. I'm going to show you one other really interesting thing with linked offset. Uh, you'll have to approach your text slightly different, but if I make some text and I do say my offset again, and I'll again, I'll choose Rockwell extra bold, back to my select tool. If I go ahead and if I convert this text to a path first, so control shift C, control shift G to ungroup, control plus to union that all together. So now I have this one path. So if I now go to path linked offset, I'll give it a red color and I'll just drag that up. 
so I can see my offset. And let's create another linked offset. So path menu, linked offset again. Click on that node handle, pull that up. I'll make that black again. And I'm just going to click on the red one here. I'm gonna make that white now so I can see what's going on with the, my two black sections. And now I'm going to go in, I'm gonna use my node editing tool, so F2, it uh, should already be selected. I'm gonna click on my text, and I'm just gonna modify some nodes on this text, or what was originally uh, a text object. And you'll see that my linked offset follows the, the path modifications that I'm making to this text to basically the parent of the linked offset. And now that's a pretty cool way to go in and, and make some pretty funky text. Now, the thing to remember is that you have to convert your text to a path and then uh, union it all together. So convert it to a path, ungroup it, union it all together before you can go in and, and perform modifications like this. So that's just another way that you can play around with and have some fun and or maybe achieve um, the result that you're looking for. Uh, have some fun with the linked offset object. Go and try it on your own. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.